objects do not vibrate on its own but they vibrate due to an excitation by force with a surprisingly small force we can excite objects violently if we make use of the natural frequency natural frequency of a system is a significant concept in almost all engineering fields explaining it in the perspective of mechanics is the easiest nearly all objects when hit or struck or strummed or somehow disturbed will vibrate if you drop a pencil on the floor it will vibrate if you pluck a guitar string it will begin to vibrate all of these objects tend to vibrate at a particular frequency or a set of frequencies the frequency at which an object tends to vibrate with when hit struck plucked somehow disturbed is known as the natural frequency of the object if the amplitude of the vibrations are large enough and if natural frequency is within the human hearing frequency range then vibrating object will produce sound wave that are audible let's understand this through an example a system like pendulum is at its equilibrium when it is at rest if you displace the pendulum from its equilibrium position and release it it would travel back to its equilibrium position crosses the equilibrium and keeps on oscillating for some time as we all know this is because of gravitational force and you may call it the restoring force of the system the nature of the restoring force is the cause of natural frequency we know that the restoring force is proportional to the displacement that is the disturbance the more you displace the system more will be the restoring force this means large acceleration of the body can be achieved by larger displacement consider this two similar pendulum one is displaced to 60 degrees and other to 30 degrees and are compared in both the cases you can see that it is back to equilibrium in the same time period then it travels and get displaced in other direction and this gets repeated but each time the time required to come back to the equilibrium position from maximum displacement position is the same as this time duration is almost same for all displacements there is a natural time period for every oscillation so as there is a natural time period we should have a natural frequency another daily life example would be a rocking chair when you pull it back it tries to get back to the equilibrium position in the process it oscillates this happens at the natural frequency of that chair another example is a guitar when a player strums a particular string the string will vibrate at its natural frequency usually this is denoted as a tone like e f or g as the natural frequency is in the range of human hearing frequency we can hear this beautiful sound this is it about natural frequency everything in this universe has it to sum up we learnt about the definition of natural frequency pendulum example to know natural time period and natural frequency and then few examples like rocking chair guitar etc we'll look at one more interesting concept in the next video see you there before you go do you know what is earth's natural frequency it's around 7.83 hertz